On a hair by Dr. Vicki Frederick, our principal. On a hair about this virus that out, COVID-19 ever bought a show. It got people trembling in fear because if you get it, no time if you go live, die, or pass it on to those you love so dear. On a must listen and stay inside because we all got the word in. We're in, in Isaiah 26, 20, and that not no lie. This way of life not bad after all, because at least we spend quality time with those in our household we saw once in a while. I know worried, no, not at all, because I trust in Jesus. Yes, Bobo, he's the remedy of us all. So today, I just want to say, life must go on, be it through Zoom, YouTube, CIG TV, Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok in between. Life is different now, and that is true the power, faith, and determination to see us through. On and out here, we have a primary school graduation coming up. And I stay home, because things going to be ton up. daily reminder that we too can rise from the darkness, that we too were created to shine our own light. Good morning everyone and welcome to Red Bay Primary School's Class of 2020 School Even Ceremony. The Honorable Juliano Connor Connolly, Minister for Education, Youth, Sports, Agriculture and Lands. Mr. David Charles White, Counselor for the Ministry of Sports, Tourism, and Transport. Ms. Barbara Connolly, Counselor for the Ministry of Education. Mr. Peter Carpenter, Director of the Office of Education Standards and his team. Mr. Kenneth Bryan, Elected Member for Georgetown Central. Ms. Tonya Catchell, Chief Officer, Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports, Agriculture, and Land. Ms. Lynette Monti, Deputy Chief Officer, Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports, Agriculture and Lands. Ms. Tammy Banks de Costa, Acting Director of DES. Mr. Nicholas Obi, Senior School Improvement Officer and other Senior School Improvement Officers in the distance. Dr. Kendrick Webster of Webster's Tours. Dr. Joel Taylor, from the Voice 97.7 FM Gospel Station. Primary and secondary principals, teachers and other educators, parents and families, well-wishers, boys and girls. And last, but by no means least, our class of 2020. Times has surely changed. From sitting in a large auditorium with a crowd cheering the graduates as they take the center stage of being in the comfort of our homes, sitting with our pride and joy, who as of today will officially cross over from the primary school level to high school. If nothing more, this pandemic has surely brought us even closer from a distance. I say congratulations to you, the parents and members of the local community, because our school leavers are the product of your consistent effort in further developing and strengthening our partnership, working together to achieve the best results for every child of whom are listed here today 
in our graduation class of 2020. We say thanks to each of you. You have truly modeled in your home to varying degrees the love and, and patience of a parent. I'm sure these last few months that love and patience was tested in your homes. It probably crossed your mind a few times. Surely my child was switched at birth. It's okay, because your little graduate probably thought the same thing. Reality check? You've given birth to an incredible child. Together, this class of 2020 will become world changers. They are going to continue to make a difference in the world by pursuing the callings God has in each of their lives. We are thankful for that. Compliments to our graduates on their conscientious effort in doing their best and promoting our school in their work and in their play. They have now completed six years of formal primary education and now they're moving on to bigger and more challenging heights. John Gray or the Clifton Hunter High Schools some even to private schools. Graduates, I know that your primary education was a journey full of ECA, experiences, challenges, and accomplishments. I know because I've been there with you. Today, you can all smile and say, we've made it through. Take a look. Class of 2020, here is where your present knowledge and your coping skills will be further challenged. You will have to apply what you now know with the words of wisdom from God and your parents and your teachers going forward in order for you to be successful and prosperous if you truly want to strive for excellence. While attending the I School Red Bay Primary, if you got hold of integrity and compassion but excellence for some reason passed you by these last six years, no need to stress. You can still pick up yourself and achieve excellence in your next stage of life. For achieving excellence is a journey, not a destination. As you transition to your high school, I want to leave with you a few nuggets of wisdom for keeping your dreams alive. You see, nobody ever said it was going to be easy. At least the disappointments don't last very long and they don't affect you as much when you know that no matter what, God is in control. So you have much to look forward to. You really do. So here we go. Think. Think of yourself as a seeker. See the process of discovery is endless and yet find peace in that fact. B. Be. be a lover of life, of people, of nature, of education, for knowledge is power. Reach, reach out and realize your goals, stretch yourselves, take risks and try to understand and extend your capabilities. Listen, listen more to your intuition and, and know that it holds a wonderful wisdom. Explore, explore and rediscover the creativity you felt when you were much younger and envision anew those things that you may have stopped seeing on the way growing up. Remember, remember to keep your dreams alive and happiness will always be in your heart. So, as you go off to high school, six, seven years from now, down the road, I want you to know that the high school Red Bay Primary Stand with open arms to welcome you back, to be a mentor to your little brothers and sisters, as well as for us to say, you've made us proud. Parents, family members, and well-wishers, our graduates who will be highlighted in this school leaving ceremony are living examples of what hard work, dedication, integrity, compassion, and excellence can produce. A little later, you will hear of their many individual achievements mentioned. But collectively, they too have contributed to this year's success at this institution, as every day they made a pledge to be a child of integrity, compassion, and excellence. God bless our graduates. 
Shall we join hands in our hearts together and bow our heads as Lily Torres Rankin of our reception class offer a word of prayer, followed by the scripture reading read by Isaiah Allen of Year 6. Thank you, Dr. Frederick. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this beautiful day and for your many blessings upon us. God, this is the very moment we pray for your blessings, peace, directions, and your protection on all the families. Watching the Red Bay Primary School, class of 2020, school's leaving ceremony for all your, the teachers who help inspire, teach and foster the true dignity of all human beings who you created in your image. We pray you will make their cup overflow with the blessings. God, give, give your graduate coverage in times of fear, understanding in times of doubt, hope in times of trouble, and strength when they are weak. I ask God that you speak to the hearts of all leaders of these islands so they would make the right decisions to help stop this deathly disease named coronavirus. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Readings from the Word of God. Lamentation 3, verse 21. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Isaiah 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Psalms 91, verse 1 and 2. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say in the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Isaiah 40, verse 31. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lily and Isaiah. May we be inspired to let go and let God be in control as we embrace his peace and comfort that is found in his word. Wherever you are at this moment, would you stand with us as we sing our national song led by Brianna Kentish, followed by a message from the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Connolly. O land of soft, fresh breezes, O verdant trees so fair, With thy Creator's glory, Reflect in everywhere, O sea of pillars Merge into darkest blue when there my thought fly God word I always think of you Delivered in Thailand set in blue Caribbean sea. I'm coming, coming very soon. Oh, beauteous, I'll to thee. Although I've wandered far, my heart enshrined. 
comes the end. Homeland fair came my Nile. I cannot thee forget. This time has taught us that no man, no woman, no boy, no girl is an island. We all need each other to lean on, to hold your hands, to wipe away a tear, to pray with and for us, to provide us with guidance and advice, because two heads, two minds are always better than one. Yes, this time has taught us to be frugal, fiscally responsible, to prioritize budgets, to reorganize plans, to get out of our comfort zone, to navigate uncharted waters and turbulent seas, to reach deep, to find a fresh supply of patience in times when we felt overwhelmed, to exercise our faith, even when it seemed like all we had was trembling faith. Yes, this time has taught us to look unto God from whence cometh our help. It has taught us to be still and to know that God is God. And it is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Yes, this time has taught us that we can accomplish all things through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That despite coronavirus, circumstances in Cayman, and indeed the entire world, our God is a faithful God. His blessings are new each and every morning. Yes, this time has taught us the usefulness of online learning, e-commerce, computers, smartphones, internet, Wi-Fi, broadband, reliable electricity is the new norm. Yes, this time COVID-19 has coerced and propelled us into the world of technology and there is no turning back to blackboards. Instead, smart boards and laptops for all as no child will be left behind. Yes, this time has taught us that education is not a luxury, but a necessity. It is not for the privileged alone, but for every boy and girl that enters our classroom and that have been entrusted to our care. That where there's a will, there is a way. And cynicism, criticism, carnality, covetousness, contagious fake news are not essential components for a strong coalition and a cooperative yet competitive soaring soul. Yes, this time has taught us that cost it what it may, we must nation build. Yes, nation build. Develop our young, bright minds. Challenge the average minds. Facilitate and augment the struggling mind so that together we can and will have an educated country and each of you students can and must find your place in this our Caymanian community and indeed the world if you so desire. Yes, this time has taught us that hard work and determination does pay off. And if we successfully reach our goals in life, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, created, equal, and genetically encoded to succeed. Yes, this time, class of 2020, is your time. The time is now. Tomorrow is promised to no one. But you are somebody. Enjoy your tomorrows with an end. It comes. Each of you represent an important building block in our nation. History, past, present, and future. We therefore need all of you. We support you. We wish you all that is good as you set your eyes, heart, mind for excellence. 
here in this life and in the life to come. We are in this together and failing is not an option. Believe in yourselves and in others, lean on others when necessary, and likewise be a shoulder for others when down to lean on. Utilize your reservoir of knowledge to harness wisdom and understanding and cultivate a heart of love, care, kindness, compassion, discernment, and Cayman kindness. Yes, this time of COVID-19 has been far from normal, but it has offered each and every one of us a new opportunity to reset our GPS and get on the right track, to keep on the right track. So students, purpose like Daniel of old, to be brave, courageous, committed, and set and achieve your goals. Keep God as the central focus in your life. God bless you, your parents, guardians, teachers and faculty, family and friends, and God bless these beloved Cayman Islands. Congratulations, graduates. Go light your candle and make this world a better place. Thank you, Honorable Juliana, for those sound words of wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, at this time I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy a musical item entitled Three Little Birds, played by none other than our musical band H for H. We wish to dedicate this item to the staff and students of Red Bay Primary School. One, two, three. Help me out here. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Class of 2020, I want you to know that within you there is someone special, someone wonderful, and someone successful. No matter what you achieve, as long as you want it and it makes you happy, you are a success. Congratulations on your achievements. We will now have the presentation of certificates and awards, followed by a victory dance by our reception class. For year 6A, Thomas Ragubir, Edgard Abbott Jr. Receiving awards for Mathematics, English, Science, Social Studies, Art and Design, Principals Award, Citizenship, ICT, Design and Technology, Prefect, Heritage Arts, Basketball, Music and the Performing Arts, and Religious Education. Rodolfo Amador Frederick, receiving awards for Religious Education, English, Mathematics, Social Studies, Science, Music and the Performing Arts, Principals Award, Football, Basketball, Cub Scouts, Citizenship, Design and Technology, ICT, Spanish, Instrumental Music, Heritage Arts, Prefect, and Deputy Head Boy. Deanna Bennett, receiving awards for Social Studies, Religious Education, Art and Design, Netball, Basketball, Music and the Performing Arts, ICT, Heritage Arts, Design and Technology, Brownies, 
Prefect, and Citizenship. Kaylee Brown, receiving awards for Mathematics, English, Science, Religious Education, Track and Field, Art and Design, Outstanding Improvement, Music and the Performing Arts, Netball, Basketball, Citizenship, Heritage Arts, and Brownies. Lori Brown, receiving awards for English, Social Studies, Mathematics, Science, Religious Education, Art and Design, Spanish, Music and the Performing Arts, Principals Award, Netball, Basketball, Citizenship, Design and Technology, ICT, Instrumental Music, Heritage Arts, Brownies, Citizenship, Prefect, and Deputy Head Girl. Hallie Challenger, receiving awards for Religious Education, Music and the Performing Arts, Citizenship, Instrumental Music, Social Studies, Science, and Art and Design. Kyla Clark, receiving awards for Mathematics, Social Studies, English, Science, Religious Education, Spanish, Music and the Performing Arts, Netball, Basketball, Principals Award, Citizenship, Instrumental Music, Heritage Arts, Brownies, and Prefect. Jordan Cummings, receiving awards for Music and the Performing Arts, Science, English, Mathematics, Social Studies, Religious Education, Spanish, Principals Award, Cub Scouts, Citizenship, Design and Technology, Heritage Arts, Prefect, Swimming Championship, Instrumental Music, and Head Boy. Kaylee Dunnigan, receiving awards for Mathematics, Social Studies, Religious Education, Art and Design, Spanish, Outstanding Improvement, Music and the Performing Arts, Citizenship and Heritage Arts. Nadette Durant, receiving awards for English, Mathematics, Social Studies, Music and the Performing Arts, Science, Religious Education, Art and Design, Spanish, ICT, Instrumental Music, Principals Award, Citizenship, Brownies, Design and Technology, Heritage Arts, Prefect, and Swimming Championship. Julio Ebanks Powell, receiving awards for Religious Education, Spanish, Outstanding Improvement, Math, Social Studies, Design and Technology, Arts and Design. Alana Edwards, receiving awards for Mathematics, English, Social Studies, Religious Education, Art and Design, Outstanding Improvement, Music and the Performing Arts, Principals Award, Netball, Design and Technology, Citizenship, Instrumental Music, Brownies, Heritage Arts, and Prefect. Devonte Ford, receiving awards for Mathematics, Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Outstanding Improvement, Principals Award, Football, Basketball, Sailing Championship, Citizenship, Design and Technology, ICT, and Heritage Arts. Tajay Frank, receiving awards for Heritage Arts, Music, Design and Technology. Tyler Hyman, receiving awards for Mathematics, English, Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Art and Design, Swimming Championship, Music and the Performing Arts, Principals Award, Citizenship, Design and Technology, Heritage Arts, Track and Field, and Prefect. Jurene Jackson, receiving awards for Science, English, Mathematics, Social Studies, Religious Education, Music and the Performing Arts, Principals Award, Art and Design, ICT, Citizenship, Design and Technology, Instrumental Music, Heritage Arts, Brownies, and Prefect. Kimberly Jimenez, receiving awards for Social Studies, Citizenship, Religious Education, Music and the Performing Arts, English, Mathematics, Science, Spanish, Principals Award, ICT, and Heritage Arts. Niley Manderson, receiving awards for Art and Design and Religious Education. Amber Meralda, receiving awards for English, Mathematics, Religious Education, Social Studies, Art and Design, Music and the Performing Arts, Design and Technology. 
Johanna O'Connor. Receiving awards for mathematics, English, social studies, religious education, outstanding improvement, principals award, music and the performing arts, ICT, citizenship, instrumental music, netball, heritage arts, brownies, basketball, prefect, and head girl. Emmanuel Powell, receiving awards for science, mathematics, English, religious education, social studies, art and design, Spanish, music and the performing arts, principals award, design and technology, ICT, citizenship, heritage arts, instrumental music, and prefect. Neha Ravishandran, receiving awards for English, mathematics, science, social studies, religious education, music and the performing arts, principals award, art and design, ICT, design and technology, citizenship, heritage arts, and Spanish. Travon Turner, receiving awards for religious education, science, English, mathematics, social studies, principals award, design and technology, citizenship, music and the performing arts, heritage arts, and prefect. Aiden Worms, receiving awards for mathematics, science, English, social studies, religious education, Spanish, music and the performing arts, principals award, sailing championship, swimming championship, citizenship, design and technology, ICT, heritage arts, and prefect. Thank you, year 6A Thomas Ragubir. Well done. For 6B, will be Isaiah Allen, receiving awards for mathematics, social studies, English, science, religious education, art and design, music and the performing arts, citizenship, principals award, Spanish, design and technology, ICT, heritage arts, prefect, and deputy head boy. Aliana Archer, receiving awards for English, mathematics, social studies, science, religious education, art and design, music and performing arts, track and field, principals award, design and technology, heritage arts, ICT, citizenship, and prefect. Araya Bravo, receiving awards for religious education, social studies, mathematics, citizenship, English, art and design, ICT, outstanding improvement, heritage arts, design and technology. Eukalyn Dixon, receiving awards for English, religious education, art and design, Spanish, heritage arts, and citizenship. Kilani Estrella, receiving awards for mathematics, science, principals award, social studies, swimming championship, English, religious education, art and design, netball, music and the performing arts, citizenship, design and technology, ICT, Heritage Arts, and Prefect. Alzavia Goldburn, receiving awards for Mathematics, English, Social Studies, Religious Education, Art and Design, Outstanding Improvement, Track and Field, Basketball, Citizenship, ICT, Heritage Arts, and Music and the Performing Arts. Alexander Henry, receiving awards for English, Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Art and Design, Outstanding Improvement, Citizenship, Design and Technology, and Heritage Arts. Tajay Henry, receiving awards for English, Mathematics, Social Studies, Religious Education, Art and Design, Music and the Performing Arts, Outstanding Improvement, Track and Field, Basketball, Football, Citizenship, Design and Technology, Heritage Arts, and Prefect. Curtis Matuti Ebanks, receiving awards for mathematics, English, social studies, religious education, art and design, outstanding improvement, design and technology, citizenship, heritage arts, and prefect. Deja Mitchell, receiving awards for English, social studies, mathematics, science, religious education, principals award, Spanish, Art and Design, Music and the Performing Arts, Design and Technology, ICT, Heritage Arts, Citizenship, Track and Field, Sailing Championship, Brownies, and Prefect. 
Elani Morris Seymour. Receiving awards for mathematics, science, design and technology, religious education, social studies, English, Spanish, principals award, citizenship, sailing championships, heritage arts, brownies, ICT, art and design, music and the performing arts, prefect and deputy head girl. Dimitri Moyo. Receiving awards for English, Mathematics, Art and Design, and Heritage Arts. Kessler Palmer. Receiving awards for Mathematics, English, Heritage Arts, and Art and Design. Jordan Porter. Receiving awards for Design and Technology, Mathematics, English, Social Studies, ICT, Religious Education, Science, Outstanding Improvement, Art and Design, Heritage Arts, and Citizenship. Kiana Quinlan, receiving awards for English, Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Mathematics, Art and Design, Spanish, Music and the Performing Arts, Citizenship, Principals Award, Track and Field, Design and Technology, ICT, and Heritage Arts. Sahara Ramsami, receiving awards for Science, Religious Education, English, Social Studies, Mathematics, Music and the Performing Arts, Design and Technology, Instrumental Music, Art and Design, Principals Award, Citizenship, Heritage Arts, and Prefect. Chantal Rohan Aguilar, receiving awards for Spanish, Religious Education, Art and Design, Heritage Arts, Citizenship, and Prefect. Angeli Rodriguez, receiving awards for Mathematics, Social Studies, Religious Education, Citizenship, Art and Design, Spanish, Outstanding Improvement, Heritage Arts, Design and Technology, and Prefect. Wilmi Sano Montero, receiving awards for Religious Education, Art and Design, Spanish, Heritage Arts, and Citizenship. Javiana Sevilla, receiving awards for Mathematics, Science, Social Studies, Design and Technology, English, Religious Education, Spanish, Principals Award, Citizenship, Art and Design, Music and the Performing Arts, Instrumental Music, Heritage Arts, and Prefect. Ronald Simpson, receiving awards for English, Science, Mathematics, Social Studies, Religious Education, Spanish, Art and Design, Outstanding Improvement, Basketball, ICT, Design and Technology, Heritage Arts, Swimming Championship, and Sailing Championship. DeMarco Wood, receiving awards for ICT, Social Studies, Religious Education, Heritage Arts, Art and Design, Citizenship, and Football. Thank you, Year 6B will be. Congratulations. For Year 6C, Lindo. Alicia Allen. Receiving awards for English, Mathematics, Religious Education, Art and Design, Citizenship, Music and the Performing Arts, Design and Technology, Heritage Arts, Social Studies, and Outstanding Improvement. Rylan Bennett Carter. Receiving awards for Religious Education, Mathematics, Science, English, Social Studies, Art and Design, Spanish, Football, Basketball, Citizenship, Design and Technology, Principals Award, and Heritage Arts. Kimani Brown. Receiving awards for Science, Art and Design, Football, Basketball, Citizenship, Social Studies, and Heritage Arts. Cameron Cole, receiving awards for Art and Design, Social Studies, Heritage Arts, Religious Education, and Science. Justin Dawkins, receiving awards for Design and Technology, English, Science, Religious Education, Spanish, Art and Design, ICT, Heritage Arts, Mathematics, Social Studies, and Citizenship. Mark Ebanks. Receiving awards for Mathematics, English, Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Spanish, Design and Technology, Heritage Arts, Track and Field, Basketball, and Football. Rajon Ford. Receiving awards for Religious Education, English, Mathematics, Social Studies, Science, Principals Award, Design and Technology, Music and the Performing Arts, Track and Field, Football, Basketball, Heritage Arts, and Citizenship. Albert Henriquez, receiving awards for Mathematics, Science, Art and Design, 
design and technology, football, basketball, track and field, citizenship, heritage arts, social studies, religious education, and outstanding improvement. Genesis Herrera Sanchez. Receiving awards for Principal's Award, English, Science, Mathematics, Social Studies, Religious Education, Spanish, Art and Design, Music and the Performing Arts, Design and Technology, Heritage Arts, ICT, Netball, Basketball, Citizenship, and Prefect. Kevinique Hill. Receiving awards for English, Religious Education, Social Studies, Art and Design, Heritage Arts, Design and Technology, Music and the Performing Arts, Science, Mathematics, Track and Field, Citizenship. Zena Jacobs. Receiving awards for English, Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Mathematics, Spanish, Design and Technology, Music and the Performing Arts, Citizenship, Netball, Basketball, Instrumental Music, Heritage Arts, and Brownies. Brianna Kentish. Receiving awards for Mathematics, Social Studies, Science, English, Religious Education, Art and Design, Music and the Performing Arts, Heritage Arts, Citizenship, Principals Award, Basketball, Netball, Swimming Championship, Instrumental Music, Design and Technology, Brownies, and Prefect. Lestania Lang. Receiving awards for English, Science, Design and Technology, Social Studies, Mathematics, Religious Education, Principals Award, Citizenship, Heritage Arts, ICT, Track and Field, Music and the Performing Arts, Netball, Basketball, Art and Design, Brownies, and Prefect. Shalom Mason. Receiving awards for Mathematics, Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Art and Design, Music and the Performing Arts, Design and Technology, ICT, Citizenship, Track and Field, Football, Basketball, Heritage Arts, English, Outstanding Improvement, and Prefect. Aiden Matthews. Receiving awards for Mathematics, Social Studies, Design and Technology, Football, Swimming Championship, Citizenship, Outstanding Improvement, Heritage Arts, Religious Education, and Science. Jarez McKenzie. Receiving awards for English, Science, Social Studies, Art and Design, Heritage Arts, Design and Technology, Track and Field, Football, Basketball, Citizenship, Music and the Performing Arts, Mathematics, and ICT. Terry Nathan Davis. Receiving awards for ICT, Citizenship, Mathematics, Science, Art and Design, Social Studies, Religious Education, Design and Technology, Music and the Performing Arts, Basketball, Football, Track and Field, Citizenship, Heritage Arts, Swimming Championship, Outstanding Improvement, Spanish, Cub Scouts, and Prefect. Logan Pollard. Receiving awards for Social Studies, Mathematics, Religious Education, Spanish, Design and Technology, Citizenship, Heritage Arts, Science, and English. Xander Pathillo. Receiving awards for English, Science, Design and Technology, Religious Education, Art and Design, ICT, Heritage Arts, Citizenship, Social Studies, Outstanding Improvement, and Mathematics. Jaden Quinlan, receiving awards for Science, Religious Education, Art and Design, Heritage Arts, Design and Technology, and Citizenship. Joshua Scott, receiving awards for English, Social Studies, Art and Design, Outstanding Improvement, Instrumental Music, Design and Technology, Football, Heritage Arts, Mathematics, Religious Education, Science, and Citizenship. David Walters, receiving awards for Science, Social Studies, Design and Technology, Heritage Arts, Mathematics, Football, Basketball, Art and Design. Lavana Watler, receiving awards for English, Mathematics, Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Spanish, Art and Design, Citizenship, Design and Technology, Music and the Performing Arts, Heritage Arts, and Outstanding Improvement. Malik Weekly, receiving awards for English, Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Art and Design, Citizenship, Design and Technology, Track and Field, Football, Basketball, Heritage Arts, and Outstanding Improvement. Joanna Worms, receiving awards for English, Mathematics, Science, Social Studies, Religious Education, Heritage Arts, Outstanding Improvement, Swimming Championship, Citizenship, Design and Technology. 
Jaden Williams. Receiving awards for science, social studies, religious education, English, citizenship, outstanding improvement, art and design, and heritage arts. Thank you, Year 6 C. Lindo. Keep soaring like the eagle. reception class for that victory dance. We will now have the presentation of Consistent Outstanding Academic Improvement Award. This award goes to students who set high standards for themselves and have worked really hard. Alexander Henry, Araya Bravo, Jordan Porter, Terry Nathan Davis, Aiden Matthews, Joanna Worms, Joshua Scott, Albert Enriquez, Kelly Brown, Kelly Donegan, Tajay Henry, Ronald Simpson, Johanna O'Connor, Xander Putilla, Levana Butler, Jayden Williams, Nadette Durant, Malik Weekly, Alana Edwards, Devante Ford, Alicia Allen. Kevinique Hill, Shalom Mason, Alzavia Goldburn, Julio Ebanks Powell. Well done, students. At this time, it gives me great pleasure in welcoming the Director of Education Services, Mrs. Tammy DaCosta Banks, to greet our graduates. Dear Year 6 students of Red Bay Primary School, Thank you for the privilege of being a part of this momentous occasion, your school leaving ceremony, which signals your transition from primary to secondary school. The Department of Education Services is honored to join a host of well-wishers in celebrating your achievements and to recognize your perseverance throughout the years, especially during the last 12 weeks of school. Year six students, your moms and dads are very proud of you today. They believe in you and they will be there to support you on your next step in your educational journey. Today would be a good day to hug your parents, send virtual hugs to your teachers and classmates and thank them for all that they have done to help you. You are important and we all want the best for you. Each new year has probably brought you a little more independence. I bet you can still remember your first day at Red Bay Primary School, your first teacher, and even your first best friends. It might have been exciting and maybe a little intimidating as well. I bet this year when you saw the reception students walking down the corridors, you probably thought, wow, was I ever that little? Was I ever that young? Think back on some of the exciting things that happened this year, all the things you learned. 
The biggest change was when the school closed and you had to learn to access your lessons through Google Classrooms. Set up your experiments and then post videos of what you had done for everyone to see. Your parents probably learned a thing or two as well. You've had some good times this year, both in and out of school. And maybe you had some tough times, but you did it. You persevered and you made it. Let me share with you some little bits of advice. Take this opportunity to reflect and dedicate yourself to making year seven and each year after that even better than the year before. Remember that you don't have to follow the crowd. Do the right thing, even when no one is looking. Study hard and remember that you're investing in yourself with every task you take and every book you read. And finally, don't be in too big a hurry to go up. These are great times in your life. Don't rush past them. You have what it takes to make it. And as Dr. Seuss would say, you have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You are the guy who'll decide where to go. Congratulations, Year 6 students. Congratulations, parents and guardians. And finally, congrats to the hardworking teachers and everyone else who have helped our students reach here today. Go boldly as you make your next step. Paint your picture and write your story with confidence. Please know that we are all here cheering you every step of the way. Congratulations and God bless you always. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Tammy Banks da Costa, for encouraging our graduates and families. We will now have the presentation of subject awards. Students who demonstrated consistent excellence in Spanish are Rodolfo Amador Frederick, Lesthenia Leng, Neha Ravichandran, Edgar Abbott Jr., and Angeli Rodriguez. Muy bueno. Students who demonstrated consistent excellence in mathematics are Jordan Cummings Elani Morris Seymour Lesthenia Leng Aiden Worms Genesis Herrera Sanchez Neha Ravichandran Terry Nathan Davis Rodolfo Amador Frederick, Trayvon Turner, Deja Mitchell, Isaiah Allen, Kelani Estrella, Ryland Bennett Carter, Ronald Simpson, Mark Ebanks, Rajon Ford, Lori Brown, Edgar Abbott Jr., and Tyler Iman. Way to go! Students who demonstrated consistent excellence in ICT are Xander Putila, Jurene Jackson, Justin Dawkins, Aiden Worms, Emmanuel Powell, Alzevia Goldburn, Devante Ford, and Deja Mitchell. Great job! Students who demonstrated consistent excellence 
in art and design are Alana Edwards, Amber Miralda, Javiana Sevea, Kevinique Hill, Lori Brown. Well done, boys and girls. Now, at this time, it gives me great pleasure in inviting our Chief Officer, Ms. Setonia Cacho, to present the Language Arts Award, followed by our Year 6 teachers, who will present the Religious Education, Social Studies, and Science Awards. Shortly thereafter, Dr. Joel Taylor of The Voice 97.7 FM will present a prestigious Christian Leadership Award. Hello, Rugby School Leaving Class of 2020. I'm Satanya Cacho, the Chief Officer in the Ministry of Education, Youth, Sports, Agriculture, and Lands. I'm delighted to be able to join you today in your school leaving ceremony. And even more so, happy to announce the Academic Excellence Awards in English. Please join me in congratulating the following students. Elani Morris Seymour. Journey Jackson, Genesis Herrera Sanchez, Laurie Brown, Tyler Hyman, Nadette Durant, Aliana Archer, Kailani Estrella, Brianna Kentish, Estenia Ling, Deja Mitchell, Isaiah Allen, Kayla Clark, Xenia Jacobs, Kiana Quinland, and Rayon Fodd. Congratulations again for academic excellence in English. of the Academic Excellence Award in Science goes to Aiden Worms, Elani Morris Seymour, Deja Mitchell, Edgar Abbott Jr., Emmanuel Powell, Genesis Herrera Sanchez, Isaiah Allen, Jordan Porter, Justin Dawkins, Listenia Line, Logan Pollard, Lori Brown. Rodolfo Amador Frederick, Sahara Ramsami, Shalom Mason, and Trevon Turner. A job well done. Keep on, you brilliant scientists. It is my pleasure to announce the names of the top performers in social studies for the academic year 2019-2020. I want to heartily congratulate you for your hard work and dedication in your academics. The top performers in social studies are Javiana Sevilla. Alana Edward, Emmanuel Powell, Elani Morris Seymour, Brianna Kentish, Deja Mitchell, Kelani Estrella. Ryland Bennett Carter, Edgar Abbott Jr., 
Lori Brown. Rajon Ford. Sahara Ramsami. Lesthenia Leng. Kayla Clark and Zena Jacobs. Congratulations. Good day, everyone. Let me take this opportunity to wish all your six students continued success as you enter high school. It was truly a blessing having you at Red Bay Primary, and you will be greatly missed. Continue to strive for excellence. Awardees for academic excellence in religious education for 2020 are as follows. Brianna Kentish. Sahara Ramsami. Elani Morris Seymour. Kiana Quinland. Alzavia Goldburn. Tajay Henry Kevanique Hill Rylan Bennett Carter Zena Jacobs Kimberly Jimenez Kaylee Brown Tyler Hyman Laurie Brown Joanna O'Connor Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Joel Taylor from The Voice 97.7 FM and I am excited to be part of this virtual platform. On behalf of The Voice 97.7 FM, it gives me great pleasure in presenting this Christian Leadership Award to the student who is a fine example of a young Christian leader. Therefore, this award goes to none other than Kevinique Hill. Congratulations and God bless! Red Bay Primary students are truly shining stars. Keep shining, boys and girls! Johanna O'Connor will now grace us with a poem entitled Good Morning Teacher, written by Louise Bennett Coverley, followed by the presentation of awards by our coaches for the area of sports. Good Morning Teacher, aka New Scholar, by Louise Bennett. My Jamaican Island. Good morning, teacher. How is you? My name is Sarah Poole. This is familiar by Michael. I may just bring him at school. Him bang one rainy day. Ma, it was coming on tonight. Ugly baby grow pretty for true. For this one was a sight. Him bang the week when Rufus Jackfruit tree did start for beer. Is that same month old be pig dead? But me forgot the year. We call him me, Mike, Mikey, J, Jackie, Jacob, Jack. But him right name is Michael Jacob Alexander Black. Not treat him rough, ya teacher. Him is a sickly child. As you touch him hard, he make nice. Some people say him poor. Take time with him, ya teacher. If him rude and start period, this beat another boy and him we frighten and be here. For enough time when he rude a yard and won't hear at all, may this beat the bedpost hard. Ma! And you won't be here, Jack Bob. Now that you know him, little ways, I'm not having no fear. That anything will melt him. So I left him in your care. Aye, aye, aye. Hello, 
boys and girls, this is Mr. Chin. I hope you guys are keeping safe during this time. I'm here today to announce the outstanding basketball players, and they are Lori Brown, Mark Ebanks, Rodolfo Amador Frederick, Tajay Henry, Devontae Ford, Jarez McKenzie, and Deanna Bennett. During this time, I also want to acknowledge the sports girl of the year as well as the sports boy of the year. For the sports girl of the year, it goes to none other than Lestenia Lang and Lori Brown. And for the sports boy of the year, it goes to Tajay Henry. I also want to say that it was a pleasure teaching and coaching all of you guys and Unfortunately, we can't have a normal graduation, but I want you guys to know that you guys will always be a special part of me. It was a pleasure teaching you for these six years, and I wish you guys all the best. So with that being said, have a good graduation, guys, and be safe. God bless. Good day, everyone. I'm extremely honored and happy to congratulate the Red Bay Primary 2020 school leaving class. Some of you are long-standing members of the track and field team, and you've performed extremely well over the years. On behalf of myself and Coach Shin, we just want to thank you guys for your dedication, your discipline, your determination in coming out to training every day, giving up your playtime sometimes so that you could achieve your goals. We're incredibly proud to be your coaches, and we wish you every success. Big thank you to Coach Cherry and also to Coach Pascal for all the work that you've done with the throwers. And we want to thank Coach Anglin for his words of encouragement and advice. Now athletes, as we head on to high school, we just want to encourage you to do your best like the champions you are. And remember that champions never quit, so we know you'll be back out here soon. Jumping, sprinting, throwing, and succeeding. We wish you all the best in high school. God bless. With that, I will now announce the athletes who are receiving awards for outstanding performance in track and field. They are Aliana Archer, Lestenia Ling, Tajay Henry, Kiana Quinlan, Shalom Mason, Deja Mitchell, Kevin E. Hill, Mark Ebanks, Albert Henriquez, Jarez McKenzie, Tyler Hyman, Alzavia Goborn, Rajon Ford, and Malik Weekly. Congratulations, champions. All right, now we're going to move on to athletes who are receiving awards for outstanding improvement in sports. In netball, we have Kehlani Estrella and Deanna Bennett. For basketball, Jarez McKenzie and Rodolfo Amador Frederick. For football, Aiden Matthews and Malik Weekly. And for track and field, Kiana Quinlan, Tyler Hyman, and Shalom Mason. Well done, guys. Hello, Red Bay Primary, class of 2020. Coach Seymour here. I want to start off by saying congratulations to all of the graduates. This has been an eventful year with, ne with new challenges that will only make us stronger. I want to take this time to also say congratulations to the Red Bay Primary football team who are the 2019 PFL Under 11 Constellation Champions. It was a rough start to the year as they really didn't have a field to train on. But as I always say to the boys, I can accept failure, I cannot accept not trying. Well done to all the boys that are part of the team this year. The players receiving awards for outstanding performance in football are Ryland Bennett Carter, Mark Ebanks, Jerez McKenzie, Albert Henriquez, Joshua Scott, Malik Weekly, Devontae Ford, Rodolfo Amador Frederick, Kamani Brown, David Walters. Congratulations again, and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. May God continue to bless each and every one of you, a Red Bay Primary Class of 2020. And I want to give a special mention and shout out to my daughter, Ilani Morris Seymour. Congratulations, Daddy loves you. Go Red Bay. Shout out to Red Bay Class of 2020. Coach Cherry here. A big congratulations to the Red Bay girls netball and basketball team who are the 2019 under 11 netball constellation and basketball champions. Well done to all of the girls that were part of the team. The players receiving awards for outstanding performance in netball and basketball are Laurie Brown, Brianna Kentish, Deanna Bennett, Kyla Clark, Genesis Herrera Sanchez, Alana Edwards, Kaylee Brown, Estinia Ling, 
Joanna O'Connor, Kilani Estrella, Zena Jacob. Congratulations again, and I wish you all the best, and may God continue to bless each and every one of you. Great Bay Class of 2020.
and they're off. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, cheer them on.
Ah, oh, yes. Rebbe Primary School is well known for its many championships in the area of sports. And if COVID-19 didn't stop us in sports day at the track in March, I'm pretty sure we would have brought home yet another victory. Well, it gives me great pleasure in listening to a man of great knowledge, a man who will definitely inspire our graduates to aspire for greatness. Please welcome our Senior School Improvement Officer, Mr. Nicholas Obi, as he greets the Class of 2020. Followed by Ms. Patricia Bent, who will do the honors of presenting the awards in music and the performing arts. Yet another area we dominated. Mr. Obi. I'm Nicholas Obi. I am the Senior School Improvement Officer that works for the Department of Education Services. And I've been given the opportunity to say a few words to Red Bay's Year 6 school leaving to Class of 2020. And I'm really, really excited about the opportunity because one of the favourite places that I have on the island is going into Red Bay and seeing students that are so motivated, so eager to learn, dressed immaculately and really well behaved listening to what their teachers are imparting in terms of knowledge. And so I know that currently it's not been the most consistent of years due to the pandemic. And some of you may be a little uncertain to what to expect as you go into high school. With that in mind, I'm drawn to the Bible and I'm drawn to Proverbs 22 verse six, which says, direct your children onto the right path. And when they are older, they will not leave it. Because I know that your teachers have done so much since you've been in the school to get you ready for that next step. Some of you think it's the end, but actually it's just the beginning of the next step, the next part of your journey. And you need to trust in the knowledge and the wisdom that those educators that you've had throughout your time at Red Bay have given you. You are ready and they've given you all the tools necessary to go on and be successful in your high school education. I know that throughout the next few years you will look back on your Red Bay time fondly and even when you get to my age you'll still remember those primary school teachers with great fondness and love. Go on, be special, make sure you always remember some of those great lessons that you've had and be inspiring to all those that you come into contact with. Good luck and God bless to the Red Bay Year 6 school leaving class of 2020. Thank you. Dear students, six years have gone by so quickly but some things will never change. You are talented. You are amazing. You inspire so many people. We are incredibly proud of you. On behalf of Mr. Baker and myself, I am honored to congratulate the Red Bay Primary School Leaving Class of 2020. Thank you for being awesome students. We will never forget the power of your beautiful voices lifted together in song, sharing our happiness, our hopes, and our dreams. From assemblies and talent shows to Christmas concerts and community performances, you always stood out because of that Red Bay energy. You commanded countless stages like true professionals, always focused with smiles on your faces we're going to miss you, but your talents are reflections of what we help to nurture here at Red Bay. Together, as a family, one voice, one song, 
one symphony of hope for our future. As you continue to embrace the magic of the performing arts in high school, we wish each of you every success. Sing with your hearts. Play your instruments with expression. Dance. The music continues and so does your journey. Take a deep breath. Stand tall. Shine. Always Miss Bent. And now, awards for excellence in performing arts go to Jordan Cummings, Johanna O'Connor, Alana Edwards, Emmanuel Powell, Sahara Ramsami, Kaylee Brown, Isaiah Allen, Deja Mitchell, Neha Ravichandran, Aiden Worms, Kevinique Hill, Elani Morris Seymour, Nadette Durant, Alicia Allen, Brianna Kentish, Kaylee Donegan, Jurene Jackson, Genesis Herrera Sanchez, Lori Brown, Edgar Abbott Jr., Deanna Bennett, Kyla Clark, Tajay Henry, Listenia Line, Holly Challenger, Javiana Sevilla, Rodolfo Amador Frederick, Kimberly Jimenez, Tyler Hyman, Zena Jacobs, Joshua Scott, Aliana Archer, Kelani Estrella, Terry Nathan Davis, and the Donna Reed Award for Excellence in the Performing Arts goes to Lori Brown. Congratulations, students. Keep shining. May God continue to bless you. Thank you, Mr. Obi and Ms. Patricia Bent. We will now have the pleasure of hearing from our head boy, Jordan Cummins, and our deputy head girls, Elani Morris Seymour and Lori Brown. As head boy of Red Bay Primary School, I'm extremely honored to say thanks to you on behalf of our principal, deputy principal, senior managers, teachers, and my fellow year six students. As we reflect on our years at Red Bay, we can truly say that we have had some amazing learning experiences that would not have been possible without your support. Thanks to the Ministry of Education and the Department of Education for providing the tools we needed in order to learn and improve our skills. Thank you for providing the personnel and other great resources that helped us to achieve at the highest level. We appreciate your commitment to our education. Thanks to our Senior School Improvement Officer, Mr. Obi. We are very grateful for the hard work you've done at our school. May God richly bless you. Special thanks to Education Counselor, Mrs. Barbara Connolly, for the great support you've given us throughout the school year. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule to attend our special assemblies and concerts. Your sound words of advice certainly helped us to do our best in and outside of the classroom. You embrace us as your family and we pray for God's continued blessing on your life. Thank you Dr. Kenrick Webster for your amazing generosity. I describe it as amazing because your sponsorship of several school programs 
the transportation of students to various events, beautiful annual school leaving trophies, and various community outreach projects is not limited to Red Bay Primary School. Your kindness extends throughout several schools. Your desire to uplift their spirits, contribute to our education, and make a positive impact on the lives of all students of the Cayman Islands is commendable. That support is the epitome of what it means to give back to your country. We thank you for your kindness. Thanks once again to our principal, deputy principal, senior managers, and teachers. Thank you, teachers, for constantly motivating us to do our very best. Thanks for never giving up on us. Thanks for providing a learning environment that will help us become a generation that will show the world integrity, compassion, and excellence. Last but by no means least, we would like to thank you, the Red Bay family. Thanks for, believe thanks for your prayers and encouragement. Thanks for believing in our school. Thanks for believing in our vision. Thanks for believing in the potential of every Red Bay Primary School student. As we look toward the future, full of hope, we ask that God will be the center of everything we undertake. Under the shadow of the Almighty, we are safe and we are blessed. May God bless you and may God bless Red Bay Primary School. Thank you. Good day. I'm extremely honored to be here today as Deputy Head Girl to share a few words of advice to my fellow Year 6 students. Almighty God has truly blessed us that we've been able to spend six enlightening years at Red Bay. Our hardworking, dedicated, and caring principal, Deputy Principal, and teachers have opened our minds to the importance of lifelong learning. They've helped us to have confidence in ourselves and to truly believe that with Christ all things are possible. Our success in academic studies and extracurricular activities mean that we have gained from our teachers the skills to learn more, aptitude to succeed, and the ability, creativity, and enthusiasm to perform well at high school. High school. Can you remember your first day of school? Way back in your one. Our parents dressed us up like we were going to court. They filled our school box with 20 size books, 17 pencil cases, 10 sharpers, and 50 pencils. Our parents were more nervous than we were to meet our new teachers. So much time has passed, and here we are today. High school is going to be a challenge for us, but the lessons we have learned at Red Bay prepared us for whatever the future holds. Red Bay has taught dedication. Dedicate yourself to your schoolwork as you attend new classes and consolidate everything you learn through studying and applying yourself as an enthusiastic high school student. Don't be afraid to ask your teachers for assistance if you don't understand something. They are there to help you. They want you to do your best. Debbie has taught us to have integrity. Make good decisions in high school. Choose to do the right thing even when others in the crowd are doing wrong. Speak truthfully. Respect yourself and others. Debbie has taught us to seek excellence. Excellence in education. Excellence in our attitude. Excellence in our willingness to learn. Excellence in the way we treat others. Rebbe has taught us to be optimistic. Have a confident outlook on life. Believe in yourself no matter what. We are all unique and blessed with many talents. We are all beautifully made. God doesn't make mistakes. Each of us has a future. Each of us has a purpose. Each of us has potential to achieve success. Once again, Congratulations to my fellow prospective high school students as we seek God's guidance in the next phase of our education. Let's continue to shine. Let's cling to the knowledge that under the shadow of Almighty, there is no task too difficult to solve, no struggle too trying to overcome, and no journey too rough to endure. Thank you for listening to me today. God bless you. For the past six years, Red Bay Primary has been more than a school to me. I've learned numerous valuable lessons and I've had so many wonderful experiences. I've been blessed this year to serve as Deputy Head Girl. On behalf of my fellow classmates, I would like to acknowledge the principal, deputy principal, senior managers, teachers, and ancillary staff for the incredible job they've done. Principal Dr. Frederick,
Deputy Principal Mr. Dale and Senior Managers. Today, I say thanks for leading our school's vision and purpose. Your hard work and guidance has brought us one step closer to accomplishing our dreams. Thanks for seeing the best in us. As we enter high school, we will never forget the godly principles that you have taught us. Mufasa Kamal Ataturk once said, A good teacher is like a candle. It consumes itself to light the way for others. Teachers, we would not have reached the significant phase of our education without your love, dedication, and patience. Heartfelt thanks to all the Red Bay Primary teachers for instructing us and always being there for us. You have positively impacted our lives by encouraging us to set high standards for ourselves. Sometimes, the job of a teacher is one that receives very little thanks. You sacrifice so much for your students' development and success. Today, we want each of you to know that we appreciate everything you've done for us. We will remember your lessons, your advice, your words of encouragement, your thoughtful correction, your smiles, compassion, and excellence. A big thank you to our Spanish teacher, Senora Dixon, and our ICT teacher, Ms. Frazier. You've helped prepare us for a world full of multiple languages and fast-paced technology. Special thanks to our own Ms. Ben and Mr. Baker. Your efforts has placed Red Bay Primary on the forefront of the performing arts over the years. Thank you for encouraging us to embrace the arts. Thank you, JJ and Mr. Nathan, for all your assistance during our school concerts. To our dedicated sports coaches and managers, Coach Chin, Ms. Ben, Coach Anglin, Coach Seymour, Coach Cherry, Ms. Smith, Coach Arch, Ms. Campbell, and Mr. Lindo, we say congratulations. Your hard work is reflected in many outstanding performances we displayed on the track, field, and court. Thanks for always encouraging us to do our best. To our outstanding secretaries, Ms. Bev and Ms. Connolly, our hard working PTA, our counselor, Ms. Murray, Nurse Chiasso, Nurse Bartis, and everyone who works in the administrative block, we thank you for your patience and wonderful service. Thanks, Ms. Largi, our rounding leader, and Ms. Smith, the Club Scout leader, for guiding us with enthusiasm and dedication. You're awesome. To our bus drivers and wardens, your service is greatly appreciated. Mr. Kenneth, our security officer, our groundsman, Mr. Brown, Ms. Candice, Ms. Marianne, and all the cleaners, thank you for making our school environments beautiful, healthy, and safe. Finally, I would like to thank my fellow classmates for sharing fun times and friendships with me. We love RBPS and it will be hard for us to leave, but we will carry our number one school with us in our hearts forever. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan, Elani, and Lori. We will now have the presentation of our special awards in the areas of leadership, conduct and character, entrepreneurship, and principles award. The recipients of this award will have demonstrated excellent leadership skills within their classroom and the school community. Rodolfo Amador Frederick, Izzy. Alani Morris Seymour. Lori Brown. Isaiah Allen, Jordan Cummings, Joanna O'Connor, Nadette Durant. Awesome! In the area of Excellent Conduct and Character Award, the recipients of this award have demonstrated excellent conduct, self-discipline, and integrity. Joanna Worms. Aliana Archer Xander Pathillo Nea Ravishandra Elani Morris Seymour Jurene Jackson Kimberly Jimenez 
Araya Bravo, Javiana Sevilla, Listenia Line. You did it. At this time, I want to welcome one of our business partners, Dr. Kendrick Webster, to present the Dr. Kendrick Webster Young Entrepreneurship Award. Dr. Webster. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so proud of each and every one of you for adapting to virtual learning due to the sudden changes caused by COVID-19. President Barack Obama, the 44th President of the United States, campaign slogan says, change we can believe in. Now it's your time to make that change. Change that you can believe in. Change in the way you think, but most of all, you should make positive changes in our community and this world. All of you, class of 2020, has the key in each one of you to make that change. The time to make these changes is not tomorrow. The time is now. Remember, change without accountability is no change. Just like prayer, prayer without forgiveness is no prayer. You are about to embark on a new campus in September. I know that many of you are nervous and worried about meeting new friends. You are also scared to be separated from your BFF or not being able to see your favorite teacher. I encourage you to face these changes with courage and determination because this class of 2020 has the vision to make positive changes that will be documented in our history books for future generations to see. I also encourage you to make your mark and alter the way the world operates by changing the way you treat the environment, but most of all, the way you treat people. Again, congratulations. I would now like to take this opportunity to present the Dr. Kenneth Webster Entrepreneurship Award. This award is presented to a student who has displayed excellent leadership skills and made innovative contributions to their school's environment. This recipient is no other than Rodolfo Amador Frederick. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Webster. Graduates making it on the principal's award list are outstanding ambassadors for the school. Let us congratulate these outstanding pupils. Neha Ravichandran, Jurane Jackson, Aiden Worms, Jordan Cummings, Elani Morris Seymour, Lori Brown, Genesis Arreira Sanchez, Deja Mitchell, Kelani Estrella, Rodolfo Amador Frederick, Lesthenia Leng, Brianna Kentish, Isaiah Allen, Ryland Bennett Carter, Nadette Durant, Travon Turner, Aviana Sevilla. Awesome! It is with much gratitude that I invite the mother of our school, none other than Mrs. Barbara Connolly, Counselor for Education, to meet our lovely graduates. Mrs. Connolly. Good morning, everyone. But a special good morning to the graduating class of 2020. It is with great pleasure that I join you this morning to celebrate your graduation. Year six, today is your last day as primary schoolers, and you're moving on to the next chapter of middle school. For the rest of you students, you have grown through another year of learning and change. Although these may be confusing times, you have finished strong and you should pat yourselves on the back. When I chose Red Bay Primary as my adopted school, I pledge to always be by your side. Students, your parents, the principal, Dr. Frederick, the vice principal, Mr. Dale, 
and all of the educators of this awesome school. From school assemblies to celebrating Student of the Month with you, it has been my honor to watch you blossom. We have had fun together celebrating birthdays, achievements, and merit awards. With each time, I was left so inspired to be a part of the Red Bay Primary School family. I understand that recent times have been challenging for you, and that makes this morning all the more important. You've had to learn on your own, with many of you dealing with technical issues, more family members at home than normal, and, of course, missing your friends. I know you have always missed your sports and your connections with each other. Many of you have taken the time to learn a creative art, to learn how to cook or to enjoy simpler pleasures like bike rides. I also hope during this time you have had more time to connect with each other and with your families on a deeper level. The next chapter is here now and it will require more independence from you. You will need passion. Do what interests you. You will be making important choices over the next few years that will impact how you will spend the rest of your life. Whatever you do, pour yourself into it. Be your best. Enthusiasm. Even when things are not going your way, enthusiasm will keep you motivated, knowing that everything is temporary. Do what is expected of you, and you will receive the benefit in the end. Balance. You will have time for everything if you find balance. It will keep you from failing at the important things in life, such as intellectual development, interpersonal relationships, and a well-rounded version of you. Challenge. Challenge the status quo. Do not be afraid to form your own opinions or to stand up for yourself. Develop a moral compass. It will help you navigate through right and wrong of life. Sometimes you will get it right and sometimes you will get it wrong. Keep on going. Finally, came in time. This is going above and beyond the call of duty. Is serving others selflessly. You don't always have to get something in return. But the most magical part of serving others is that it comes back to you in ways you never imagined. As a representative, I have the honor to connect with many people regularly. And I serve them with passion and enthusiasm. Even during these challenging times, always looking for balance in my own personal life so I can share my Cayman kind. I challenge you today to reach out to someone in your community or just give them a call. Trust me, you will be blessed in so many ways. Graduates, I congratulate you on the successful end of your primary school. I look forward to seeing you evolve into fine young men and women that will serve their country selflessly. Thank you for your commitment, endeavor, and passion. We are so very proud of you. Students, as this part of your life draws to a close, let us end with gratitude. Look into the eyes of your parents, your grandparents, your siblings, and whoever helped to get you here today, because it takes the whole village to raise a child. Thank them for the many sacrifices they have made. Most importantly, tell them you love them. As for me, I am not going anywhere, and as you grow, I look forward to have you join me in making Cayman better. I thank you all for making Red Bay Primary School the happy and family-oriented place that it is. Let me leave you with this thought. 
Be totally present in this experience. Dive into books. Join the clubs. Stay active. Take time to appreciate your teachers and friends. This is your time to become the person you have always wanted to be. Finally, today, I will be awarding three laptops as a reward to those students that attain high academic achievements. Use them wisely, safely, and intelligently. It gives me great pleasure to present the Barbara Connolly Medal of Excellence Award to students who display excellent achievement in academics, consistent effort, leadership skills, and exemplary behavior. The recipients of this award goes to Aidan Morms, Rudolfo Amador Frederick, Ailani Morris Seymour. Congratulations, well done. Once again, congratulations, year six. I wish you all the best as you continue your educational journey. God bless you. At this time, our deputy head boy, Rodolfo Amador Frederick, will address our parents and family. I slept and dreamt that life was joy. I awoke and saw that life was service. I acted and behold, service was joy. Rabbi Tandra Tagore. Parents and families, I'm extremely honored to say thanks to you on behalf of our principal, deputy principal, senior managers, teachers, and all of our fellow year six students. First, let me acknowledge God Almighty for the health, strength, and patience he has given us so that we can be part of this memorable occasion, the celebration, the end of the first phase of our education at our number one school, Red Bay Primary. Parents and family members, Thanks for the love and great support that you have given us throughout the years. I'm sure you didn't know that your teaching skills will come in handy in this season we are in now. With everything that has taken place as a result of COVID-19, my classmates and I would like to sincerely thank you for being there through with us through these tough times. Thanks for pushing us to complete up our e-learning assignments. I must admit, at times we chuckled under our pillows. As we knew this way of learning and teaching was new to some of you. We've got to love and appreciate this younger generation as we've been teaching you a little thing or two these past couple of months. As we reflect on the years at Red Bay, we can truly say that we have had some fun learning experiences that helped, our, that helped prepare us for the future because of you. You worked with our teachers, principal, deputy principal, to set a solid foundation for us academically, socially, and spiritually. The pride we have at Red Bay can never and will never fade. As we continue our educational journey, please remember we are not perfect and we will make mistakes along the way. As we pencil our way through high school, we ask that you be that eraser sitting on top of us, giving us a second, third, and even a fourth chance to get things right. As we all know and can see, times will get harder and even more challenging for us. But, we, but together, we can get through whatever the future holds, because we know it holds the future. I'm reminded of a portion of our school pledge which says, We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We will stand still and know that God is in control. He will never leave us or forsake us. Parents and families, a million thanks again and again and again. We love you.
thank you for joining us in celebrating the accomplishments of our upcoming leaders. As we know, this is a graduation like no other. Come here, let me show you one something. Yeah. We got a little surprise for honor. Yeah. A little extra something something to celebrate the years of success you all have had here at Red Bay Primary School. Here's a few blooper reels of this grand production that was your school leaving ceremony. Let's take a look. Chase, you're moving too slow. You, I, I, see, see, I see that um, thing dying, that's why. Oh. Sorry. Because you, I, I was trying to remember what was next. Streets or graduates? That was much better. <laughs> much, much better. When I, tell, I thought you was running out of breath. <laughs> Kelly Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Rod no? <laughs> no, yeah. You can't roll it Rodriguez. 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 You and I can't say that, Mr. Dear. We can't have a Amador Frederick. Lesthenia Leng. Neha Ravichandran. Edgar Abbott Jr. And Anjali. <laughs> Thank you, Willie and Isaiah. <laughs> As endless, Thomas, you're going up too high. If you look, I can tell you where. You see this? We need a marker. You see where this is right now? Well, boys and girls, you have officially crossed over to a new level. The staff and students await you at Red Bay Primary School for your drive-through party. See you there.